Hello everyone. Today in this video you are going to learn how to understand material price analysis for raw material, semi finished and finished good. We can understand raw material price analysis for raw material, semi finished and finished good using three different transaction codes of SAP. Number 1 MB56 display batch way use list. Number 2 KKBC underscore RD and the final and the most useful is CKM3N material price analysis. I have made separate videos on MB56 and KKBC underscore ORD but I will show you a slight glimpse of both of these transaction codes as well before moving on to CKM3N. This is the display of MB56. In MB56 we have to write here the material number, plant number and batch number and then we can pr press start analysis. We are going to get the complete inventory trail from raw material to finished good. This is the display of KKBC underscore RD. Here we have to write here the production order number. We have to write here month and year. And then we can press execute. We will get the display of target cost, actual cost and the difference between target and actual cost. Now this is the display of CKM3N which is material price analysis. In this display we have to write here the material number, plant number, month and year. And then press execute. If you see all these four dots as green then it means your period has been closed otherwise if these blocks are not green then it means your period is still open. Now the important thing that we have to cover in CKM3N is this receipt section and the consumption section. Receipt section is basically telling you that against which production order you have received this material and consumption will be telling you that against which production order you will be consuming this material for producing another product. Now as you can see that this material I have received against these order. GR4 order means that these are the order against which I have received this material and these are the standard cost. And these cost can be compared with the KKBC underscore ORD by using the production order number. I am going to insert the production order number in the KKBC underscore ORD and I will get the target cost. And these are basically the variances in front of the order settlement. These are the variances which is the difference between target cost and actual cost. And similarly I can match these costs with KKBC underscore ORD. Once your order is settled then it will be shown over here. Now coming towards the consumption section. This section is telling you that this material is used to produce this item against this production order. And these are the target cost. So that's it guys from my side. I hope you like this video. Kindly like, share and comment and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.